In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create this cool looking countdown timers in PowerPoint without resorting to any animations. Let's get started. The first thing I must note is that you won't be able to create this kind of countdown timers from scratch. And the reason for that is this PowerPoint is created using VBA or Visual Basic for Applications. Unless you are a programmer, you need the PowerPoint file that I have included in the description of this video. So feel free to scroll down and hit the link and download the PowerPoint to your computer. Once you have the file, you can open it in PowerPoint and the first time that you open it, you will get this message which says macros have been disabled. You need to click on the enable content button to access the code that is required to make this countdown work. You can now start playing with the file. For example, here I have a countdown timer for one minute. To run this timer, all I need to do is click on the slideshow. And when I click on any area of this clock, the white area, the countdown will start. Similarly, I have here a two minute countdown timer, also five minute and 10 minutes. And I don't need all of these slides. I could just use the first slide and when I want to make it, let's say a three minute countdown timer, all I need to do is change this to three. And when I run the slideshow and click on this area, it will start a three minute countdown timer. You can change any aspect of this slide. For example, if you want to make the clock smaller, you can just change the font size. If you want it in a different color, you can change the font color. If you want to change the background, you can also do that. You can say format the background, let's say make it a solid color. How does this work? On this slide, there are three elements that are required to make the countdown work. The first, of course, is the clock. The second is the time limit, which is in minutes. It can be from 1 to 59. This particular countdown timer only works for up to one hour. And the third is an element here, which is blank, where it will show time is up. All these are simple text boxes. There's nothing fancy in it. You can play around with them. You can change the font. You can move it around, but don't remove them. This text box where we define the limit of the countdown can be hidden if you don't want to see it. And to do that, we can click on home and then come here and select the selection pane. Here we will see there is an object called shape time limit. All I have to do is click on this I button and it will be hidden. But the timer will still run. For example, if I now click on the slideshow and click on this area, it starts counting down one minute. All of the magic happens behind the scene in the Visual Basic application code. And if you want to see what the code is and you want to play around with it, you can click on the developer option and click on Visual Basic and this is the code for the countdown timer. Let's go back to PowerPoint. On your PC, you may not see this developer option. In case you want to see the code, you can right click anywhere on the ribbon and say customize the ribbon. And if you scroll down, you can find the option called developer. Click it and then choose OK and this button should appear for you. I have also included a fancy clock which you can use. The idea is the same. It uses Visual Basic code. And similarly, if you want to simply have a clock on your PowerPoint slide, you can just click on it and it starts a clock. So there you have it. It's a very useful resource. 
feel free to download it play around with the code and have fun